जय श्री कृष्ण टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू स्पीक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सीरीज ऑफ प्लानिटरी इवेंट्स दैट आर गोइंग टू अकर स्टार्टिंग द ट्वेल्थ ऑफ जुलाई विच इज वेरी नियर जस्ट डे अवे एंड दिस इज सो इम्पॉर्टेंट बिटवीन द पीरियड ऑफ जुलाई ट्वेल्थ टू जुलाई सिक्सटींथ दे गोइंग टू बी थ्री स्पेशल प्लानिटरी इवेंट्स वन द एंट्री ऑफ सैटर्न द री एंट्री ऑफ सैटर्न इन टू मकर राशि टू द एंट्री ऑफ राहू इन टू भरणी नक्षत्र एंड थ्री the entry of mars into bharani nakshatra on the 16th of july so within these four days we are having three important events that are going to occur together and this is going to be of great great importance to the situations that are going to occur in the next few weeks and months of this new and fast changing world that we are living in today just before we begin i would like to give an introduction about the time frame we are living today in a simple introduction which will of course be very significant to understand in today's video we are living in a time that is changing so rapidly that such a situation has not been seen in many centuries starting 2020 let's keep in mind that the era before 2020 is a completely different era and the era we are living in now after 2020 is a totally different era since there was a great conjunction in between the entire situation from the economy to geopolitics to healthcare everything is basically transformed for the world we're seeing a completely um transforming world at this stage and coupled with this there are so many macroeconomic changes that are occurring so many geopolitical changes that are occurring so many changes in human genetics itself human population is rapidly transforming and we are having some effect called the new human effect which i feel is beginning and i feel it's a very negative transition for the world and the only way to protect uh, people from this is to follow the sermons that have been given by uh, uh, you know given to us by the ancient sages i'll come to this later but this which is happening now is basically a transformation of the human and today's video about these three events mars rahu and saturn specifically i'll be covering them it's a very important cascade of events and this is going to influence the next weeks and months and even during this period there could be important events that could occur so first of all mars is as we know fire power energy and force basically mars is a force rahu on the other hand side represents transformation and change derailing from the present situation and basically rahu means transformation overall rahu always moves retrograde so when all the grahas come within the fold of rahu and ketu it is known as the kala sarpa yoga in which the world transforms and coincidentally not of course a coincidence but an important scientific transition um the several events that have occurred after the kala sarpa yoga have completely changed the way we look at the world today and now we are seeing yet another uh, event where mars and rahu are coming together in a nakshatra called bharani bharani is one of the 27 asterisms which denotes human population reproduction growth and storage of energy and human energy as a whole the storage of human energy the transmission of human values and the reproduction of human population the renewal of human population the renewal rate of human population the birth rate the death rate bharani nakshatra has an a very powerful impact on all of these factors not only this the negative side of bharani nakshatra is that even though the positive side is that it has something called the renewal power the negative side especially if mars and rahu enter this nakshatra it has a destructive power as well so what i feel could occur during this time frame and after this time frame is that the new era starting july 12 2022 will have a tremendous impact on human population genetics and the type of humans we are today and the massive transformation that could occur over the next few months and weeks in the way humans interact with each other and the several situations not limited to only geopolitics but so many important events that could occur over the next few weeks and months bharani is going to have a very powerful say on this mars and rahu on the other hand side indicate transformation so certainly it's not going to be a very peaceful time frame as i mentioned we cannot expect things to be very peaceful and calm in the new world that we are living today since the planetary events are so special and humans are evolving to become more greedy more angry and more terrible day by day unless say of course accepting several good people who are still living on the earth compared to the people who are engrossed in negative activities the people who are engrossed in positive activities are quite less 
but I'll talk about this a little bit more in detail after a few minutes. But for now, when Mars, Rahu, Bharani and Saturn all come together, we're seeing something very special. Now coming to the economy and the markets. Of course, this is going to be a very difficult time frame for the economy as well as the markets is going to be a very turbulent time frame. And as I mentioned in my previous videos as well, uh, commodities and assets, more than looking at them as commodities, I would look at them as assets. Gold and silver are very important assets for such an environment. People see that gold and silver are falling, but as I mentioned even in my previous videos, they are very important. And the reason why gold and silver are basically falling at this stage is because of the macroeconomic situations. They seem to fall, but actually the value of gold and silver is very strong even at this stage. In fact, especially of gold. It is one of the only assets that is able to hold on to the massive onslaught of the uh, rapidly changing US dollar and the other macroeconomic effects that are going on. Therefore, I would recommend, um, of course, this is not regular financial advice, but I would recommend uh, holding on to assets that have a generational value. And this is the perfect time to accumulate such assets like gold and silver, both. A temporary fall does not mean that, that the asset has lost its value. It is only because of a rising US dollar that people are not able to understand the generational value of gold and silver. Suvarna, the metal, gold, is so important for this world. And Rajat, that is silver, these are so important for the world uh, and they have been valued since generations. Their value never goes down. Their intrinsic value is always very strong. I would recommend holding on to such assets during this time frame since the economy is also rapidly changing, especially people who cannot um, you know, cope with the inflation rates that are being there. In many countries, it's already above 20-25% actual inflation rate. So people who are unable to cope with this, the best thing for people to store would be gold and silver at this stage. And many people will realize very soon that these are the only uh, assets overall, along with other commodities, of course, uh, important commodities, which can bear the onslaught of this time frame. And coming to the next part of the video, humans are rapidly evolving, as I mentioned. And of course, this is not anything new, is what most people might think. But this is actually very different. There's a very faster rate of evolution, a very faster rate of transformation. This could also be negative in some ways. Human genetics itself is transforming. So I would uh, recommend people who are very interested in things that are going to occur over the next few weeks, please keep a very strong and hawkish eye on the period between the 12th of July and the 16th of July, as a lot of important events could occur. And I shall keep you posted, keep all of you posted on what could happen at each stage, analyzing the events, the after events that could happen after this and analyzing what impact they could have as well. So for now, just to summarize, we're going to see a rapid transformation in terms of the human population. We're going to see renewed violence and we also might see macroeconomic disturbance. The risks of a recession, the risks of a recession are going to double or even triple or multiply several times after this period. We're also going to see the next one and a half years marked by a double Saturn transit and several other events based on other videos as I've already mentioned. But this is actually a bitter medicine for the economy which is already terribly inflated. And it is actually a good period for the economy because it's going to purge the economy of the excess uh, you know, capital that is pushed in, which is harming everyone, including the common person, as well as you know, everyone overall. So we need to be very, very much aware of this time frame, which is transformation. And let's look at what happens next. Thank you. Jai Shri Krishna. Jai Shri Ramachandra. Jai Shri Lakshmi Narasimha.